All right. So what I'm going to demonstrate here is the calibration of uh, your microscope um, and your camera. So here I'm assuming that you've assembled your microscope, that you put the camera into the eyepiece, that it's all the way in, uh, so it's nice and snug in there, um, and that you have the stage micrometer, that sort of little ruler slide, on the microscope stage. There is no cover slip on it or anything. You just put it there. We're going to center it in a little bit. I'm also assuming that you have installed the Amscope. Um, software and that you have it <clears throat> on your PC. So this is a tutorial for a PC. Um, on a PC, this software has full functionality. Um, on a Mac, it's the Amscope Lite or M Lite. Um, it only has the basic functions, like for example, you can't measure. So if you have a Mac, you're not going to be able to find some of the things that I'm talking about. And um, there's no calibration because there's no measurement. I'm going to double click on it. It's going to open. And if you have the camera um, plugged in to the computer via USB, you should be able to see it on this camera list over here. Um, so my camera is MU1000. So I'm going to click on it. It's probably going to show up a dark screen because I don't have a um, scope on. I'm going to turn it on and then we're going to actually see the image. But this is where you find the camera. If you don't see it, you might want to um, unplug it and plug it back in, maybe close the software and reopen it. That usually works if it doesn't detect it on the first try. So I'm going to just flip the switch on the scope. Um, you can already see the ruler there. Um, I have the light all the way down. I can increase the light intensity a little bit with that little uh, scroller on the side of the scope. Now you can see the scope. I'm going to move using the using the knobs that operate the stage. Um, using the find focus, we can find the focus on this. And here I'm starting at the lowest magnification, at 4x. Um, so you should see the entire ruler of the stage micrometer. This entire thing is one millimeter. So there's 10 of the bigger parts of it. So each of those is 100 uh, micrometers, and each of the tiniest um, segments is 10 micrometers. So we're going to operate under that knowledge because nothing is labeled. Um, but we know that. So here we can start calibration. And so the calibration is something that you only need to do once uh, for your camera and your computer. Um, if you switch to a different computer or reinstall the software, or even if you just um, realize that maybe you didn't do it right the first time, um, you might want to go back and redo the calibration. And the calibration is basically just telling the software that on this scope with this camera, um, a certain number of pixels uh, means a certain um, a length, so a certain size. So that's why we first need a standard. That's what the stage micrometer is for, um, to establish what these lengths are under different magnifications. So I have already done this, but let's pretend that I haven't. Um, in that case, it's going to show the NA up here. So I'm on the lowest magnification. Um, I pretending that I haven't calibrated. Um, the camera and the, the software yet. Um, this is the other important um, important part here. I have chosen to have full resolution um, in live. So um, the live image is appearing in full resolution. Um, for normal operation, you might want to have lower resolution just because it will refresh faster. But for the snap, for taking actual pictures, you definitely always want to have the highest resolution. So it takes the best quality pictures possible. So make sure you check these um, and ensure that they are at the settings that you want. A couple other things are exposure. So if it looks too dark, you might want to adjust exposure. I'll talk about that in a different tutorial. Um, white balance, also establishing what is white 
Um, that's going to be uh, another important part. But for now, all we care is the distances. So um, Amit, for calibration, you want to be at maximum resolution. And you also want to be at 100% zoom. So that's up here. Um, <clears throat> so I'm zoomed in all the way. If, you, if it's a little blurry, you can um, fine tune it with a fine focus knob on the side of the microscope. Yeah, this is pretty good. We can see all the, um, all the lines on it pretty well. So now next up, we're going to go to calibration. So I'm going to have to adjust the window a little bit. OK, so this icon here says calibrate. If you're not at 100% at the and the highest resolution, it's going to um, ask you whether that's what you really want to do because it's not ideal to be calibrating um, under different conditions. But here we are. There's pop-up window opened. And again, I'm starting at the lowest magnification, which is 4x. So I'm going to select that. And now I'm calibrating for this objective. We have four objectives, 4, 10, 40, and 100. Um, and the next thing that you want to fill out is the actual length. So you see that this line here appeared. And you can grab its ends and adjust them. So I'm going to drag them so that they are sort of in the middle of this bigger bar and this bigger bar. And as perpendicular as you can make them to the actual lines here so that it's as accurate as possible. And as I said, this segment is 100 micrometers. So that's what I'm going to put in. And then I can just say OK. Yeah, so I have already done this. So for me, um, it's not working. I would have to clear it first. Um, but uh, for you, it should work just fine. So. So now we're basically just going to do the same thing for all the other calibrations. And again, if you need to fix it, if, you, if you've already done it um, and you need to do basically a do-over because you didn't do it right the first time, um, under options and measurement, um, oops, sorry, um, magnification, you can clear all of these. You can, and then you would have to re-enter um, them. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to pretend that I haven't done it. Um, and the next thing that I'm going to do is switch to um, 10x objective. Be careful when you're doing that uh, on the scope. You don't want to crash the objective into the the stage micrometer into your slide. So carefully and certainly in a controlled fashion, look at um, the scope while you're doing it. You might need to adjust the light a little bit. You might need to use a little bit more fine focus to fully focus on the scale bar. And go back into calibrate. Now we're at 10x. And our line appeared here again. So um, adjust it again. And here, these are now much bigger, of course. Um, so try to be as in the center of the width of that line as possible. Uh, and again, as perpendicular to those lines as possible. So that it really is as precise as it can be. And as we remember, this is 100 micrometers. Um, so I'm going to say, OK, it's going to give me an error. It shouldn't give an error to you because you haven't done this yet. Okay. Um, and we're going to move on to the next um, to the next magnification. If you find this annoying and you want to straighten it out, remember you can rotate the camera in the eyepiece a little bit. So we can um, just finagle with it a little bit to straighten it out. Maybe that's a little easier to look at. So next up, uh, I'm going to go to 40 magnification. That's uh, the second biggest objective. Be careful because now we're getting pretty close to uh, the slide, you might even want to lower the stage a little bit before you do that to make sure that you're safe and you don't crash the objective into the slide. Again, might want to adjust the light. 
and might need to do some finding. So if you're not seeing anything, um, you might temporarily want to zoom out, maybe to even 20% um, or something like that. You can, of course, still look into into one of the oculars that doesn't have the camera in it and find centered um, the slides so that you can find the ruler. All right, here we go, here it is. Um, again, for calibration, we'll wanna be at 100%. Um, so now it's getting a little harder to see where we're at. Um, so I'm going to calibrate it using the smallest segment, which is 10 micrometers. So I'm going to go uh, back to calibration. And here I am at 40x magnification. The actual length of the segment is going to be only 10 micrometers. And grab the ends here again, make sure it's as much in the middle of the line as possible because you can imagine that this is a pretty different distance than this or this. So let's put in the middle of each as perpendicular to the to the lines as we can. And then I'm going to say okay. Now again it's going to be a little error. You shouldn't get this error. Um, so that's our um, 40x calibration. And finally and be super careful with the biggest objective, 100x. I'm gonna move that up. It's going to be quite dark. It's gonna be quite blurry. Technically, the 100x is the, um, is of course the oil immersion objective, but don't put any oil. It will work without it. It's just gonna be a tiny bit blurry. Um, but again, be very careful so that you don't add the, the objective into Yep, into that, um, into the slide and damage the objective. That's not what you want, obviously. So it might be quite dark. You can adjust the lighting. You can adjust the aperture to let in more light. You can even adjust exposure if you want, um, just so you can see the segments. I know they're quite large um, in this view. So. Our biggest magnification is 100x. The actual length is going to be 10. Do our best to have it in the middle of each line, perpendicular to the lines. And then I'm gonna say, okay, it's gonna give me an error. You shouldn't get an error. Um, and that's it. So now you've calibrated your, um, your setup. Um, you can go back to 4x, to the lowest magnification. You can um, shut off your, uh, your scope if you want. But if you want, you can also just do a little sanity check and make sure that you actually did it right. So now I'm at 4x, seeing the ruler um, here is where you're going to tell the program what magnification you're at. So I'm now at 4x, so I'm gonna say I'm, four, I'm at 4x and it's going to calculate the measurements based off of that. This is really important. It's one of the most uh, common mistakes when you um, forget to change the magnification when you change the objective and then all of your measurements are wrong. You can't really, uh, I mean, you could, calculated manually, but you can't really um, change the magnification on a picture that you've already taken. So make sure that you always have the right magnification here. Um, you don't have to be zoomed in at 100%, but sometimes that's useful. Um, and then if you don't know how to get back to where you wanna be, you probably wanna be here at the camera. Um, you can snap a picture, right now we're here uh, live, you can snap a picture, find where you were, maybe zoom in 100%, um, and 
can go to measurements. And I usually just measure with the line. Um, and if I measure this segment, it should be 100 micrometers or thereabouts. And it's pretty close, 100.6. So that's good. So we did it right. Of course, the small segment should be about 10. Um, so that looks good. Um, at 4x, we calibrated it right. Now, another thing you might notice is these measurements, it's saving them into a measurement sheet. So if you have multiple cells here and you want to measure them all, maybe belonging to the same species, you'll then have a little table of those measurements. So that can be pretty useful. And you can also delete them just by pushing delete so that you don't have to deal with those uh, red lines on there all the time. So that's how you calibrate and that's how you verify that you calibrated it correctly. Don't forget, um, it won't automatically change magnification when you change magnification on the actual scope. You have to always do that. I'm going to talk about taking pictures, putting on um, scale bars and things like that in a different tutorial.